So we're gonna do a solar power output test with these USB solar panels. And we have a 20 watt one and a 10 watt. And we have a battery bank that can input four amps. And then we also have a fan. And so I'm gonna check how much power we can milk from these panels. So first we're gonna test the 10 watt and see how much power it can produce. And the total output that we have is 4.8 volts and 1.07 amps. So we're getting five watts from the 10 watt solar panel. Now we're gonna test the 20 watt. And technically this is a 21 watt panel and we are pulling 1.95 amps at 4.87 volts. So we're only pulling 9.49 watts from a 20 watt solar panel. So both of these panels, even though they're different, they're producing the same amount of power, about 50% of their rated output. Now we're gonna change the angle and see if we can get any more power out of these. Oh, there we go, we got 1.3 at 4.8. 1.3 was the highest number I could get. 1.33, okay, 1.33 and 4.8. So we got 6.3 watts max for the 10 watt and let's do the same thing with the 20 watt. We're getting 2.2 at 4.9, 2.3 at 4.9. Yeah, 2.3 at 4.9 was the best I could get. That's only 11.7 watts. That's not that great. I was hoping we could get like 70 or 80% of the rated output, but consistently it's about 50 to 55% of the rated output. So I'm actually pretty disappointed in the results of these panels, but they are super useful. So if you're backpacking, I mean, this is great. You can charge up your phone. You can even charge a small USB powered laptop. They actually make those now. But just understand that the rated output is not accurate. So you should probably buy a panel bigger than what you need. So something else I want to add is this is the same one as the Anchor ones or the other $150 ones. But this is only $40 to $50. These are all rebranded, you guys. These are not special. All right, these are not made by Anchor or any of these companies. They buy it from one company, they put their label on it. So buy the cheapest one you can because they're all the same. Also check out the size difference when folded up. This one produces double the power. It's almost the same size as this one and the weight feels kind of heavy with this one. So yeah, this one seems like the better buy, especially for how much these things cost. Get the 21 watt panel. So yeah, I hope you guys found this useful. It was pretty interesting to actually finally test these. And this was not sponsored. I bought these with my own money. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So now we're gonna do a test to determine if these two USB outputs are in parallel and not separate converter or regulator. Some people commented yesterday about it, so now I'm reposting this video. So before, yesterday, I had two watt meters connected to this battery or with the fan. And I noticed that when I disconnected one of them, it didn't change the total output at all. It was the exact same number. So I just ended up using this battery yesterday and it was the maximum that I could get out of there. So now we're gonna further test this experiment. We have two watt meters and we have a 1.5 um, ohm resistor connected with XT60 connectors to each USB output for both watt meters. So this load right here will make these go to the maximum amount and we have this amp meter to see how much power we can produce with it. And right now we're getting two amps. And let's see if we can get any more 2.5, 2.5 amps at 3.7 volts. So that's actually not that good. That's pretty low compared to yesterday. And over here, of course, we have 1.2 and then 0.9. And then we still have, we have two amps. So it's the same. I did notice though that this resistor pack lowers the voltage quite substantially. So what we're gonna do is use my battery pack that can input four amps and at five volts, that's 20 watts. So now we're gonna check the voltage and the current and see what it is. And I'm gonna show you guys when I disconnect one that the output is still the same. So right now we have, we have 0.5 amps in one amp at 4.8 volts. So that's 1.5 amps. Now we're gonna disconnect one of them we have 1.52 amps. That means that these two USB outputs are in parallel. I also took this one apart last night and it only has one and they're both in parallel. So now we have the 10 watt and we're pulling 0.2 amps and 0.6 amps at 4.7 volts. So that means 0.8 amps. Now we're gonna pull one off. And now the total jumps up to 0.8 amps. So yeah, no secrets here. These are all in parallel. If you buy cheap, 
converter boards of any kind, even USB chargers for your home. They're typically gonna be in parallel. Now for the next test, we're gonna see the output when I shade one of the cells. And the output is 1.3 at 4.8 volts. And that's 66% of the output, so that means that these solar cells are in parallel, they're not in series. And I bet it's the same with this panel, but let's check it out. Right now we have 1.07, we're going to add the shading, and now it's 0 0.7, 0 0.69. So yeah, same thing with this one. So yeah, that means that these solar cells are in parallel as well. And then we get 0.33 when I shade two of them. 